Morning world, it's about 10.30 in the morning, it's Wednesday the 6th of January 2015 and this is my take on the planet Uranus for the coming 12 months. So I'm going to be looking at who Uranus is affecting at the individual level first of all, then I'll be looking at the general pattern of Uranian events over the coming year before summarising what Uranus in Aries continues to mean for both individuals and the collective over the coming 12 months. Uranus is about change. It can be changed in terms of chaos, disruption, disorder, having the rug pulled from underneath one feet, one's feet, drama, crises. But it can also be changed in terms of stimulus, novelty, creativity, spontaneity, originality, breaking the mould, throwing it away, reinventing oneself and beginning again. I often say to people who are going through Uranus transits, whether they're positive or challenging, that Uranus is like a tsunami, a wave of change coming through one's life. And you can either hang on to the rocks and hope it passes by you, in which case Uranus will pull the sand from underneath your feet and send you spinning, or you can run, in which case Uranus will pick you up and dash you on the rocks. Or you can get your surfboard and go out and meet the wave of change head on and rise to the crest and surf it, not knowing where it's going, but it knows where it's going and it has your best interests at heart. Change is a permanent factor in our lives and the more we try and become permanently established, solid and rigid, the more entropic we become, whereas the more we allow change to flow through our lives, the more stimulating and innovative we become. Remember, humans are basically the otters of the universe. We like change. So, this year, let's deal with the signs. Uranus is affecting the cardinal signs in terms of challenge and difficulty. Aries, if you're born from perhaps... April the 9th through to the 12th, then you're going to be finding the first couple of months of this year is going to wrap up 2015 in a way that should bring final solutions. Whereas if you're born from the 12th to the 15th, you're going to find that this coming year is going to be a time of radical change. Use it or lose it, as far as Aries is concerned. The, opposite, the same can be said for the opposite sign of Libra. If you're born October the... 9th to the 12th, then you're going to find that the next couple of months are going to summarise much of the last year's forced change and that you've still got the chance to adapt uh, or uh, remain disruptively challenged. And those of you born from the 12th to the 15th of October are going to find that this coming year is going to bring an element of unpredictability one way or another, and if you go with it, you'll have the time of your lives. And if you don't go with it, you're going to find things are going to change in ways that you cannot predict and could be quite disruptive. Cancerians, born from perhaps the uh, 8th to the 12th, 8th to the 11th of July, you have found that this last year has been all over the place. There's been a sense of drama, whether it be in areas of home and family or professional circumstances. This will end by early March, but those Cancerians born from the 12th to the 15th of July, you're going to find that next year you're going to have to deal with some sudden and unpredictable events that are going to bring change into your life. And if you flow with it, and if you dance with it, then other people around you will look at you as if you're crazy, but you'll have the time of your life. Similarly can be said for Capricorns born around the 7th, 8th through to the 11th, 12th, you're finding that you're wrapping up the affairs of this last year now and bringing them hopefully to a successful conclusion, bringing endings and allowing new beginnings in. Whereas those Capricorns born around the um, 11th, 12th through to the 15th of January, you're going to be finding that the more you get into this year, the more you're going to have to deal with the unpredictable. And if you go with it, it should be fun and stimulating. And if you don't go with it, then you're probably going to find one or two fundamental roots suddenly yanked out from underneath your feet. Uranus, however, is not all bad news. It's not all sudden drama and change. It's bringing a great deal of latent creative stimulus into the lives of those Leos, for example, born from the 9th to the 12th of, Le of August over the next couple of months and then from the 12th to the 15th of August over the rest of this year. It's a lovely time for these people, time to have some fun in your lives. Similarly, if you're a Sagittarian, the other fire sign, 
Uranus is bringing a lot of positive change as finalising positive change for those Sagittarians born from the 9th to the 12th of December and from much of this year from the 12th to the 15th of December it's time to break the mould and reinvent the wheel have some fun go and go travelling go and do things that bring more stimulus Uranus is bringing a sextile aspect into those Aquarians born um, primarily born from about the 7th through to the 11th until February March and then from the 11th through to the 14th of February until um, for the rest of this year and also Uranus is bringing a sextile aspect to those Geminis born uh, initially from the 8th to the 11th of June uh, this should be a time of completion of the events of this last year capitalizing on the positive changes that have happened in 2015 and then those of you born from the 12th through to the 15th of June this next year is going to be basically stimulating innovative original and hopefully quite futuristic there's no major aspects to Uranus the Uranus Pluto square it has now faded out January is seeing the end of it Neptune is not touching Uranus over the coming year Saturn will be Saturn will be trining Uranus the more we get into the end of the year and that's a kind of beacon of hope in a sea of madness because it will be the element of structure and the element of chaos working well with each other bringing more innovation and novelty but in a structured and disciplined way the more we get towards the end of the year and the more the structures of our world reform themselves. Jupiter will oppose Uranus at the very end of the year and into 2017 and that is going to um, continue to escalate what I've already mentioned in the past as being the financial and economic correction that's coming at the end of this year. It's already starting now with the stock market crash. Mars is not going to hit Uranus apart from a strong square immediately after it hits Pluto at the end of October, which is why I'm fingering the end of October as being uh, a time of um, sudden change in the world. Uranus is in Aries. Aries is about oneself, it's about the individuality, it's about one's sense of identity and uniqueness oneself. Uranus is bringing change. With all the other planets in the sky, Saturn, Neptune square bringing a sense of breakdown and disorder into the world, a sense of confusion and dissolving. With Pluto and Capricorn transforming the nature of the structures of the government we live in, Uranus in Aries is a beacon of hope. It's saying, yes, but what about me? What about individual human rights? And in the face-off between Pluto and Capricorn saying, yes, the needs of the corporate and the world government, and Uranus in Aries going, yes, the need of human rights, individual freedoms, I'll back Uranus every time. I like Uranus in Aries. It's a great energy, and I think it's going to foster a sense of ever-stronger self-empowerment for individuals over the coming year. If you're one of these people that's getting affected by Uranus, let change into your life. You know it makes sense. Catch you later, world. Bye.